Alrighty, welcome back everybody to our latest live stream. I hope everybody's having a good afternoon or morning so far. We do have a uh, tornado warning that is issued here in Florida. This is near St. Augustine, the Volano Beach and Point of Verita Beach area. Uh, this goes until 12 o'clock, so it's about 15 minute tornado warning since this will be doing offshore. We do have a pretty strong area of rotation right now that's approaching areas near Interstate 95, just west of St. Augustine. If you are in this tornado warning, you need to make sure that you are seeking shelter immediately away from windows and on the lowest floor possible uh this has been a fairly strong rotation area for quite a while now and it's going to be approaching interstate 95 in the next couple of minutes and eventually going towards the north side of saint augustine so if you're anywhere in this area in particular you're definitely going to want to make sure once again that you are seeking shelter immediately away from windows and on the lowest floor possible interior room of your home or building this storm right now is moving east northeast it's going pretty quickly so once again this will be moving offshore in just a few minutes i I wanted to do a live stream on this though because this has been a fairly strong area of rotation and it very well could drop a tornado at any time as it continues to move to the east uh this is actually now a confirmed dangerous tornado on the ground um this is radar confirmed this is an urgent alert a tornado is on the ground seek shelter immediately so we now have a confirmed tornado on the ground here in florida this is heading towards the north side of saint augustine Again, make sure that you are seeking shelter immediately if you're in this warning. Once again, this is a confirmed tornado. That correlation coefficient drop looks very ugly. This is potentially a strong tornado in progress just northwest of St. Augustine. It is going to be heading towards US-1 and eventually about to cross over Interstate 95. Once again, a potentially strong tornado on the ground right now moving east. That is a huge correlation coefficient drop on this latest scan uh, northwest of St. Augustine. Again, get to your safe place immediately if you are in this tornado warning. It's moving towards US-1 right now. Again, seek shelter immediately if you're in this area. This is, again, near St. Augustine, Florida. This is a confirmed tornado on the ground. This is, again, confirmed. Uh, it's right now about 10 miles northwest of St. Augustine. It's moving east at 40 miles per hour. So it's moving very quickly. If you are in this tornado warning, you need to get to your safe place immediately, away from windows and lowest floor possible. Do not wait. Get there immediately, as this is, a, again, a strong, potentially strong tornado that is on the ground right now, heading towards the south point of Verde Beach area uh, near St. Augustine. Augustine, Florida. Again, a potentially strong tornado heading that direction. It is a very large area of debris that we're seeing right now on the correlation coefficient. That is uh, one of the more defined correlation coefficient signatures that I've seen in quite a while. Hopefully, this is just contamination, but it's highly unlikely because we don't have a whole lot of hail up to the north. And so... Uh, right now, it looks like it's a potentially strong tornado heading that direction. Again, about to move over Interstate 95 here over the next couple of minutes. New velocity scan should be showing this right over Interstate 95. And there you go. That's your, again, tornado that would be in progress right now, just to the east of Waterbury, uh, near the beds, the, Beer, the Bearsford area as well. So a couple of different communities there. Uh, again, crossing over Interstate 95. This tornado will be approaching the Casacola area and eventually going towards the South Point of Verde Beach area. Uh, uh, on the east coast of Florida. Once again, a tornado likely still on the ground right now near Interstate 95. Seek shelter if you are in this tornado warning away from windows and on the lowest floor possible interior room of your home or building. Once again, this has been confirmed by radar. And uh, again, continuing to move east-northeast. It's going to be approaching the east coast here of Florida in the next few minutes. And this is a rain-wrapped tornado, by the way, so do not try to be looking outside for this. Once again, this is a potentially dangerous tornado that's on the ground heading towards uh, areas near St. Augustine right now, Florida. In addition to that, we do have three other severe thunderstorm warnings. Obviously, our focus will be any confirmed or any ongoing tornadoes uh, that we have ongoing or any tornado warnings. So we'll be completely focused on this right now. Once again, this is a confirmed tornado by radar heading towards St. Augustine, Florida, Volano Beach, Florida, and South Point of Verita Beach, Florida. This goes until 12 o'clock Eastern time. Once again, seek shelter immediately if you're in this tornado warning hope is that this does weaken but uh once again this is right now crossing over interstate 95 let's see let's zoom in a little bit so it looks like pretty rural areas here just northwest of saint augustine uh the main communities in the track of this in the next five minutes will be near casa cola i don't see any names on here but this is near international golf parkway and it's gonna be approaching woodlawn as well 
And once again, going to be heading towards the south Punta Verde Beach area. That's the main area in the track of this, unless this tornado takes a turn to the right, which it should hopefully stay in this direction, kind of going through most of these rural areas here. But I would obviously make sure if you're in St. Augustine that you are staying in your safe place just in case this storm tries to take a weird little turn here. It is a completely rain-wrapped tornado, though. So any tornado that we have here is going to be completely wrapped in rain near Interstate 95. And once again, it is moving east-northeast. It's going to be going towards US-1. And uh, it will be going eventually towards the south Point of Verde Beach area over the next several minutes. Let's see if we have any other reports on this storm. Uh, bah, this is a potent. This is a PDS tornado. This is a particularly dangerous situation, guys. This is an emergency alert. A large and strong tornado is on the ground. Seek shelter immediately. This is a PDS tornado right now that's ongoing northwest of St. Augustine. The National Weather Service has just upgraded this to a strong and potentially large tornado that is heading towards US-1 right now. Again, completely rain-wrapped, moving towards US-1. Going to be going towards the South, Verde, South Point of Verde Beach area in eastern Florida. Once again, a strong and potentially large tornado on the ground right now. That debris ball is uh, fairly large. And again, it, I'm hoping this is just contamination. But once again, they've issued this to a PDS tornado tornado near interstate 95 and it's going to be moving off to the east it's going to be approaching the east coast again of florida just north of st augustine this would be where your tornado is going to be located and once again this is moving towards route or us1 and eventually going to be going towards south point of verita beach if you are in this tornado warning again you need to seek shelter immediately this is moving east at 40 miles per hour it is a fast moving storm and it's going to get there within a few minutes if you're right there in south point of verita beach so again seek shelter immediately if you are in this tornado warning this is for saint augustine in south point of verita beach florida this is north of daytona beach south of jacksonville for reference with a potentially large and dangerous tornado currently on the ground and i'm seeing if we have any other reports on this in terms of anybody seeing this or anything like that somebody mentioned it might be a wedge tornado again we we really don't know it's it's radar confirmed as of right now going towards south Point of verita beach and the saint augustine florida area this is a very rare situation we don't we do not get pds tornado warnings that often and that right there would be your debris that's being lifted up into the atmosphere and with that dark blue stuff there that indicates a lot of debris being lifted up as long as that is not contamination this is the last radar scan here so still an active tornado crossing over very rural areas here northwest of saint augustine but it's going to be approaching some communities here near us1 notice all the different roadways in here on radar omega those are all different areas here that are in the track right now of this tornado just west of the South Punta Verde Beach area, moving east northeast, going towards Casacola and just north of the Las Palmas Luxury. I don't even know how to say that, but just a community there, and as well as areas on the north side of St. Augustine. You want to make sure that you are in your safe place, as again, there is potentially a large and strong tornado that is in progress right now, moving east northeast. This is again a PDS tornado that has been issued by the National Weather Service in the St. Augustine and South Point of Verde Beach areas. Still seeing if we have any reports on this as of right now. This is again a PDS tornado that's in progress. That is a particularly dangerous situation, which means again that there is likely a strong and large tornado on the ground. If you are in this warning, you should be running to your safe place, not walking, getting away from windows and on the lowest floor possible. Bring a helmet, Get the mattress off the bed, especially if you're along the coast. You only got a couple of minutes until this is here near the point, uh, South Point of Verde Beach area, north of St. Augustine. You got maybe one or two minutes, so you got to run. Do not walk to get into your safe place. That is an interior room of your home or building away from windows. This is um, right now going over into areas near the World Golf. This just crossed over near the World Golf Village, by the way. Um, and they just updated the tornado warning. This is still a particularly dangerous situation if you are north of St. Augustine with a large and strong tornado that is in progress. This is going to be approaching areas near US-1 right now. So again, get to your safe place. You got to run if you're in this area. Do not walk to your safe place. Cannot stress that enough. This is a very evident debris ball that's been on radar here for it, several minutes now. It is a completely rain-wrapped tornado, so do not try to look outside for this. 
not look outside. Just go to your safe place. So again, still a particularly dangerous situation if you're in South Point of Verde Beach in St. Augustine, Florida. The tornado itself is moving toward areas near South Point of Verde Beach right now. Once again, this is a pretty rare tornado warning. We do not see PDSs very often. It looks like the debris signature has been shrinking a little bit here over the last few minutes. Uh, with that being said, this is still likely a tornado. I do want to mention that if this is still on the ground, uh, it is going through a lot of areas that are rural here. And if there was any damage over here near like the, the Bearsford area, uh, that is homes that were potentially being, you know, tossed around or lifted up there in the atmosphere in Interstate 95, some sort of larger debris, smaller debris likely here in this rural little area here between interstate 95 and us one so it is very possible that the tornado is still the same size it's just not picking up nearly as much since it's a bit more of an area where there is not nearly as much uh stuff here but uh it will be a going right into more communities here near uh casicola and south Ponte verita beach over the next couple of minutes you need to get to your safe place again immediately if you're in this community uh if you're anywhere on the north side of saint augustine i would also make sure that you're going to your safe place immediately again run do not walk as a bathroom interior room any sort of storm shelter or basement is the preferable place but an interior room that includes something like a closet or a basement you need to still go to your safe place rotation on radar has not looked very impressive for the last several minutes but with that being said we have had a correlation coefficient drop on this for several minutes minutes now and it is likely that we still have an ongoing tornado here uh north of saint augustine approaching south point of verita beach so again get to your safe place immediately if you are in this tornado warning away from windows and lowest floor possible i'm once again trying to see if we have any sort of reports on the storm but potentially major tornado damage is potentially falling out of the sky here. It's it's very large area here that we're looking at there. I, we don't have another radar site to confirm from the south. So this is our only radar site. But this could all be debris that's in the atmosphere right now. It's it's a... Uh, you can see it here. Look at, look at this thing. That's unbelievable. That might all be the brief fallout here that's on the north side of this storm. If you are anywhere up here, by the way, south of Palm Valley, I would just in case stay in your safe place, not because there's a tornado coming towards you, but if that is debris that's being picked up by radar right now, that could potentially be falling out of the sky right now. And I would definitely make sure that you are uh, staying in your safe place if you're in that area. Again, the hope is that that's not debris, but it is entirely possible. And it looks like at this time, the tornado may have lifted, but if it is still on the ground, it's going to be right over US-1 right now, near that uh, US-1 area on the, it's literally going through communities right now, if this is still on the ground. It's definitely possibly still on the ground here. Uh, if it is, again, it is still a potentially strong and or large tornado that is in progress. Uh, north of St. Augustine, it is going to be approaching the South Ponte Verde Beach area. Hopefully nobody's at the beach, but if you are at the beach, you got to get to a, uh, a sturdy structure immediately away from windows and on the absolute lowest floor possible. That is a massive fallout of debris that we have on the north side of this right now. That is, again, likely all debris that is falling out of the sky right now. That is, a again, a massive debris fallout here that we have on radar. And again, that'll be moving towards areas near Palm Valley. So again, if you're in just on the south side there of Palm Valley, even though you're not in a tornado warning, I would definitely make sure that you're just staying in your safe place in case any debris is coming out of the sky and it ends up falling down into the uh, er areas near you. But again, this is still a potentially strong and or large tornado that's on the ground north of St. Augustine, Florida. And if you're just tuning in, this was the correlation coefficient. Tornado started back over just west of Interstate 95. A lot of debris was being lifted up into the atmosphere. And this is likely the fallout here of debris that is still in the atmosphere that's going to be falling out of the sky here near the Palm Valley area over the next several minutes. Tornado warning goes for one more minute. They may have to issue a new one just temporarily for this very northern side here of uh, where this tornado could still be on the ground near US-1. And again, it is still a rain-wrapped tornado, so do not go outside and look for this, or don't even look from your window. You still need to stay in your safe place, away from windows and on the lowest floor possible, interior room of your home or building if you're in this tornado warning. I'm seeing some things about this particular debris fallout, by the way. Um, debris has been lofted more than 10,000 feet west of St. Augustine. That's at least likely. 
what we were seeing here on the correlation coefficient is all of this right here that's been lifted up around 10,000 feet into the atmosphere, that debris near Interstate 95. This is a confirmed tornado, by the way, by law enforcement. So this was no longer radar confirmed. Um, so law enforcement confirmed this as a uh, damaging, potentially large and strong tornado near St. Augustine. They don't have a tornado warning on this, but there may still be a tornado in progress here. I'll just make sure that you're staying in your safe place. If you are near US-1, if there is still a tornado, it's going to be right there. Again, moving off into the South Punta Verde Beach area. But the tornado warning has just expired. It may still be on the ground, though. I would just make sure, again, that you are in your safe place. Let me zoom in again. If this tornado is still on the ground, it would be right here. So, again, it's going to be approaching South Point of Verita Beach area. This has been confirmed by law enforcement. That's all we know right now. It's been confirmed by law enforcement. A potentially strong and large tornado just happened north of St. Augustine, Florida. And debris has been lofted up into the atmosphere, like, uh, like significantly. Again, one of the larger debris fallouts that I've seen in a long time, right up here to the north. But if this is still on the ground, it would be right here near South Point of Verita Beach. And let's go back to the velocities real quick. Let's see if there's anything left here on the velocities. Yeah, it looks like the rotation's very weak here. We may still have something there. I'll just stay in your safe place just in case. I'm going to go back to Tornado Possible just for the time being. We'll see if they do issue a new tornado warning here. But regardless, this is about to be moving offshore. So South Point of Verita Beach, just stay in your safe place at least for the next six or seven minutes. And then uh, this will be moving into the ocean. And hopefully this is just done with. Because, again, this is potentially a very... Um, at least a large and potentially strong tornado here that just happened near the World Golf Village. And it's not far from Bucky's in this area as well, just northwest of St. Augustine. If you guys do see any reports, anything like that, feel free to at me on Twitter at MaxVelocityWX. Um, again, unbelievable what we just saw here on radar. This is a significant tornado that just happened, a lot of debris. If we go back to the correlation coefficient, once again, near Interstate 95, let's, um, let me see if I can pause this here. So this right here was the initial spotting of the tornado on radar. And just look at how this debris field just grows in size. I mean, it's unbelievable. This thing grew so significantly that this is all just debris fallout that was moving to the north. So just unbelievable what we saw here on radar. And that tornado went right through. If you know any friends or family in the, um, again, near Interstate 95 in the Samara Lakes area, Grovewood, Ashley Oaks near the Elwood and Palmo area, make sure that they're doing all right. This is near 13A and 16, just northwest of the Old Town Villages area, not far from the World Golf Village. It's also not far from Bucky's, and uh, it's very close to St. Augustine, obviously. Looks like it missed, at least it missed the downtown area and also the northern side here of St. Augustine. And um, if that tornado ended up still staying on the ground here, it would have impacted areas uh, near South Point of Verita Beach, near Route 1 and or US 1, potentially some of the communities in there as well. Yeah, that's, that's unbelievable. Again, this would just be debris fallout right here. That's all debris fallout. If you are, again, on the south side of Palm Valley, stay in your safe place for a few minutes just in case that there is still debris falling out of the atmosphere. So from what we know, this was confirmed by law enforcement. Again, if you're just tuning in, we had a uh, potentially at least a strong tornado, but maybe even a large tornado that was confirmed initially by radar and then was confirmed by law enforcement in the area. And it... It has likely done some very significant damage here just northwest of St. Augustine, Florida. Let's go back to live radar here. So the storm itself is now moving offshore. If I can get the radar to... Oh, I don't have the radar set on. There you go. So the, the storm now is moving offshore. So now there is a potential for large water spouts offshore, but it, luckily that's not impacting anyone on land. But if you know any fish or sharks in the ocean, make sure to give them a call or text. Make sure they're doing all right. But... With that being said, we just experienced potentially a large and strong tornado. I'm going to continue to see if we have any sort of reports on this over the next few minutes. 
and see if we have anything on that. I do want to quickly update you on the other storms that we have ongoing. Uh, we do have two severe thunderstorm warnings. I believe both of those are on the west coast of Florida. Uh, we have one large one for Tampa, Florida. This is for 60 mile per hour damaging winds. There is a tornado possible label on this entire thing. Uh, we actually have a couple of spots of rotation offshore just west of Tampa. With that being said, oh, look at this. We have to watch this closely near the Efflers area. Just west of Efflers right there, that right there near Efflers. It looks like we have a strong pocket of rotation that's going to be approaching the west coast of Florida over the next few minutes. We'll have to watch this very closely. We might get another tornado warning on this. Um, I'm getting reports, at least from somebody that I know in St. Augustine area, that there has been at least some debris that's been uh, reported on the ground in the area. So, I'm at least getting that. Debris was lofted again up as uh, as high as 10,000 feet into the atmosphere with that particular tornado. But, unbelievable. I mean, again, that was a, a surprise to say the least. We had a tornado warning before that, and the rotation was awfully strong. The rotation, again, is now offshore. So, uh, if you are in St. Augustine, if you are in South Point of Verita Beach... You are all right to get away from your safe place. I would still stay in your safe place, though, if you are in uh, Palm Valley for a few more minutes. Let's just go back up here real quick. We still have a lot of debris that has been lifted up into the atmosphere here. This is the correlation coefficient. Uh, this is all the debris fallout that we had from this tornado, which you don't see this very often. Even with, the, like, weaker tornadoes usually don't do this. We had a, again, a potentially large and strong tornado here just north of uh, or near the South Point of Verita Beach area. But this is all debris fallout still that is in the air uh, just south of Palm Valley. So if you are in between Palm Valley and South Point of Verita Beach, stay in your safe place for a few more minutes in case there is still debris that is falling out of the sky there. But wow, that's just unbelievable. We're going to have to turn our attention, though, to uh, the Tampa area and the west coast of Florida because we have a strong pocket of rotation right now that is going to be approaching the coast here near Efflers. We may get a tornado warning here just southwest of Spring Hill and Efflers in the next few minutes on another strong pocket of rotation. There's a flash flood emergency, by the way. Uh, there was a flash flood emergency yesterday, I mean, in uh, New Orleans. I hope everybody stayed all right there. There was a lot of flooding there. I'm getting reports of several homes with damage, by the way. Uh, Zach, if you're watching the stream, can you send me photos if you get any? I usually don't talk personally, but my brother is a, a cop in that area where there was a tornado. And um, I'm guessing he's going to be doing search and rescue up there. And so, um, luckily he's alright, but that, that area, again, got smacked by a, a, a large and strong tornado. I'm getting reports of several homes that are damaged in the northwest side of St. Augustine, back up near South Point of Verita Beach. A new tornado warning has been issued. We have a new tornado warning. It's going to be for those in uh, just north of Efflers, just southwest of Spring Hill. If you're in this tornado warning, seek shelter away from windows, lowest floor possible. Uh, this can be heading towards Hudson, the Bayonet Point area, River Ridge, and the 5A Junction area. So again, if you're in this area, make sure that you're seeking shelter immediately away from windows and on the lowest floor possible, interior room of your home or building. Again, brand new tornado warning here. It is probably going to be a long day here. Uh, we got another tornado warning, and this is the one we were just talking about a few minutes ago. So we might be getting some photos here soon of damage. Uh, reports of roofs ripped off houses now in St. Augustine. So once again, reports of homes damaged, roofs ripped off, um, homes near South Point of Verita Beach near St. Augustine. Obviously, we'll continue to re relay reports as they come in. This is, again, according to somebody that I know that's in the area. Um, 
So we will continue to update you with any other reports. If you know any friends or family that are in the St. Augustine area or near near the South Buena Verita Beach area near the World Golf Village, please make sure to give them a call or text to make sure that they are doing okay. There was, again, just a, moments ago, a large and strong tornado that went through that area. And once again, we do have a new tornado warning. This is not on the ground, but we do have a new tornado warning that is approaching Efflers. Um, again, seek shelter if you're in this area, away from windows and lowest floor possible. Interior room of your home or building. And prayers to anybody that was in that area that that large tornado just went through a few minutes ago. Um, still a large debris fallout that's now offshore near Palm Valley. But, yeah, it's, again, that was a very dangerous tornado that we just had happen a few minutes ago. We have several broken windows. That's another report. So, several broken windows now being reported just northwest of St. Augustine. Uh, we are waiting on photos, so we should have some photos here soon of that tornado, or at least some of the damage photos there. Uh, just northwest of St. Augustine, Florida. That, again, happened not too long ago. And once again, if you're just tuning in, we do have a new tornado warning. This is radar indicated rotation. Uh, pretty strong area of rotation right now. This could also drop a tornado. This will be moving air toward areas near Efflers and eventually going towards Spring Hill, Florida. Again, if you are in this tornado warning, you should be seeking shelter as well immediately. Away from windows and on the lowest floor possible and in an interior room of your home or building. And once again, I'm going to repeat it a lot here over the next several minutes, but we did have a report. Again, we had a confirmed strong and large tornado just northwest of St. Augustine um, about 20 minutes ago. It's no longer on the ground, but it was about 20 minutes ago. Um, there's been tons of reports as of now of roofs that have been ripped off, several uh, broken windows, several homes with damage, again, near the golf, World Golf Village. Um, we will try to get you photos as soon as possible. I have a contact in the area that's working to get that and um search and rescue efforts likely ongoing as well right now in that area we have lots of damage in that area as well um again this was not in downtown st augustine it was on the suburb side near south point of verita beach where that confirmed tornado happened about 20 minutes ago so we will continue to relay reports as they come in very unfortunate situation that happened there and near the St. Augustine area. Yeah, there's no such thing as a basement in Florida for the most part. So, obviously a storm shelter, interior room like a basement or a, or not basement, sorry, a bathroom or a uh, closet is always a great place to go. Always have a mattress with you in case there is, you know, a potentially strong tornado or that threat exists, which today, obviously we just saw it, a large and strong tornado happen. Not too long ago near St. Augustine, Florida, when we first went live. Uh, getting a report of the damage is being reported near the, the International Golf Parkway area. So again, I'm relaying reports. These are all things that I know that have happened in this area. This is all stuff that's just happened near St. Augustine. The damage report is near the International Golf Parkway area, north of St. Augustine, Florida. Let me just real quickly, again, we have a tornado warning. It's about to move on shore, but uh, this would be the area that we're talking about with significant damage. I've been up here before. Um, let's take off the radar real quick. This would be what we're talking about. It would be right along in here on this parkway. So it's this right here where we had a strong and large tornado. Um, in addition to that, that's where the damage happened. In addition to that, not hearing anything hit on the beach side. So South Point of Verita Beach... And areas here near US-1 likely did not have a tornado here. There may be some damage, potentially, if there was a tornado briefly that was being lifted up. But um, from what I'm hearing, there was no tornado damage near the beach side. So again, we'll continue to relay reports. I'm, I'm actively getting these, so we'll, we'll continue to let you know what happens over the next few minutes. With all that being said, we still have a tornado warning that has been issued moments ago. Strong pocket of rotation right now about to move onshore near the Port Richley area. This could produce a tornado. Uh, if it's produced, it might even be producing a water spout offshore. But uh, Bayonet Beach, 
or Bayonet Point, and as well as Port Ritchie near River Ridge. You all need to be in your safe place, away from windows and on the lowest floor possible. Interior room of your home or building. Go to a bathroom, go to a storm shelter, go to your basement if you have one for some reason in Florida, which you may or may not. I highly doubt you do, but you might. Uh, that's always a great place to go. If not, an interior room of your home or building, away from windows is where you need to be. And again, this is just north of Tampa, Florida, where we have a tornado warning. This is radar indicated rotation that will be moving towards Route 19 and 589 over the next few minutes. And once again, if you're just tuning in, we did have a confirmed large and strong tornado. It's not on the ground anymore, but it was about 25 minutes ago um, near South Buena Verde Beach, Florida, um, near the International Golf Parkway. And we have lots of reports coming in of damage to homes, roofs that have been ripped off. From what I'm hearing, at least as of right now, I'm not hearing anything in particular about there being flattened homes or anything like that. But with that being said, there's windows broken. There are plenty of areas up there that have damage. Make sure if you have any friends or family near South Point of Verita Beach, northwest of St. Augustine, make sure that they are doing all right. And again, we'll continue to rel relay reports here over the next few minutes as they do come in. Yeah, if you're in a mobile home, you need to make alternate plans, especially if you are um, in the path of storms today. You need to find a sturdy structure, a brick building, something that's sturdy, that'll keep you safe during any sort of tornado warnings or any sort of wind storms that we have today. We've already had plenty of storms today producing damaging winds up to 70 miles per hour. It's entirely possible that we get some of that out of this activity as well. A new tornado warning has been issued. We have a brand new tornado warning issued just west of Tampa. And we got rotation up here. That's the rotation that's about to be coming on shore. They just issued another tornado warning near Largo. There you go. That's where the tornado warning is. So it's near Largo, Clearwater, Dunedin, Palm Harbor. A large area of rotation developing here. It's not tight and confined, not a confirmed tornado, but this is another tornado warning now that's going to be approaching Palm Harbor. Dunedin, Clearwater, Largo, Indian Rocks Beach, you need to be seeking shelter immediately as well. This is a very populated area. If you know any friends or family here, make sure to give them a call or text, make sure they're doing all right. Um, again, seek shelter immediately away from windows, lowest floor possible, interior room of your home or building. That's a basement, a storm shelter, a closet, or a bathroom. If you're in a bathroom, go to the tub. If you have a tub, that's the best place to be. Put a mattress over you just in case. Say another dangerous storm right now. Not confirmed tornado, but it is radar indicated rotation that is going to be approaching clear water, Dunedin, Palm Harbor, Largo, Bella Air. Again, that is your strong area of rotation right now that's going to be approaching areas just west of Tampa, Florida. I uh, do want to bring your attention back to the storm that is now moving on shore. We do have rotation up here that is near the Bayonet Point. Not seeing any correlation coefficient drop as of right now, so this is not a confirmed tornado. With that being said, this could still drop a tornado as it moves further inland. So if you are near the 5A junction, near River Ridge, Port Ritchie, make sure that you are staying in your safe place away from windows and on the lowest floor possible. That storm could also drop a tornado. We'll be watching both storms very closely here over the next several minutes as they do continue to move inland and potentially produce a tornado risk here in Florida. Stay safe if you're in the new Port Ritchie area 
Yeah, again, anywhere in either of these tornado warnings, you need to be in your safe place. Let's go to the close-up radar site. We'll have a better view, I think, of the rotation. Yeah, this is another view of the rotation here near Indian Rocks Beach. It is very possible that we have a water spout that's in progress just southwest of Clearwater. And um, obviously, that's not an imminent threat. If there is a water spout right here, it's not going to imminently just come inland. It's still a few miles offshore. But these storms are moving pretty quickly, so we could easily still get a tornado here near Bella Air, Indian Rocks Beach, or Clearwater near the Dundon area. And once again, all this activity right now moving to the east and northeast. So make sure that you are staying in your safe place if you're in that warning. The other area of rotation still remains pretty strong up here near the Bayonet Point area. That rotation has just moved onshore near Bayonet Point, Florida, just north of Port Ritchie. And once again, if you are in this pink polygon, you need to stay in your safe place. This rotation is also going to be rain wrapped. Let's check out the... We'll be able to check the correlation coefficient here in just a second on this storm. Velocities will update here in a moment. On the Bayonet Point and River Ridge storm, that's again moving east-northeast right now. Are the villages safe? Where, where's the villages? Where's that in Florida? Isn't that St. Augustine area? And once again, if you are just tuning in, and if you've not already heard, uh, once again, we did have a large and strong tornado go through areas just north of St. Augustine about a half an hour ago or so, give or take a few minutes. Uh, that tornado produced significant damage in the area north of St. Augustine, not the downtown area, uh, near South Point of Verita Beach area, uh, near the International Gulf Parkway. If you know any friends or family in that area, make sure to give them a call or text to make sure that they're doing all right. I've had multiple reports from somebody that's in the area that there's a lot of homes that have been damaged, roofing that's been damaged. In addition to uh, windows that have been broken. So we'll continue to update you with any new updates. But here's the latest radar scan on the storm near Bayonet Point, north of Tampa Bay. This is the one near River Ridge. Rotation's on the broad side of things for the time being, but we're going to continue to watch this storm very closely. It does still have a chance to produce a tornado at any time if it's able to intensify. And then the rotation that's near Clearwater is about to be moving onshore. And in fact, I think we have two different areas of rotation here. We got one that's a bit weaker near Largo. We got another pocket of rotation near Clearwater. Just zoom out a little bit. We'll go this way. And then again, this will be your area of rotation here. We got another one right here. And both of these right now moving northeast. So once again, if you're near Largo, Palm Harbor, Dunedin, Clearwater, Indian Rocks, you need to be seeking shelter again immediately, away from windows, lowest floor possible, and in an interior room of your home or building. Away from windows. Again, two different areas of rotation uh, that are still offshore, but they are going to be moving inland here at any moment. So with that being said, again, get to your safe place away from windows, and once again, on the lowest floor possible if you're in either of these tornado warnings. Orlando area. Uh, Orlando area is still ahead. We have yet to get to Orlando because the storms are not there yet. That's a brief fallout, by the way, that happened um, near St. Augustine. is completely gone, by the way. So if you're in Palm Valley, just an FYI, you do not have to be in your safe place anymore. Yeah, Orlando is still a good hour away or so from those storms. So you're still a good hour or so out. And once again, west of Tampa, that's where we're at right now. We have two different pockets of rotation that are moving northeast. These will be approaching Palm Harbor and East Lake over the next several minutes. Again, seek shelter immediately away from windows and lowest floor possible. We have our other pocket of rotation right now near the Port Ritchie area, just north of the Efflers area. So once again, stay in your safe place if you're in either tornado warning. We'll zoom out fully just so you have an idea of these two different storms. And both of those pink boxes indicate tornado warnings that are currently ongoing here in West Florida. We do have a new severe thunderstorm warning uh, that's going to be west of Daytona Beach, west of Palm Coast. This is for damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour. It is not an imminent tornado risk. It is definitely more of a damaging wind risk with this particular cluster of storms. But we will continue to watch it closely in case that does try to produce some sort of tornado risk. I do think the greatest tornado risk right now is going to come out of any storms that are going to be over here in West Florida that are coming off from the uh, Gulf of Mexico, moving inland. 
I think these ones are going to have the greatest chance for a tornado risk today. Here's the latest radar scan. Uh, we're going to zoom in more here on the Tampa area, just west of Tampa. We got one pocket of rotation right here. We got another one that's right here. So we got two different pockets of rotation, both approaching Clearwater and Largo. The rotation that's back up the, um, near Port Ritchie is a little bit weaker than before, but we have a little back end hook echo on this storm near Clearwater. So that's one pocket of rotation that we're watching. And then we got one that's completely embedded in rain wrapped areas here. That's all rain that's falling, very heavy rainfall near Largo. So do not look outside for either of these there's a lot of rain falling and both of these are rain wrapped areas of rotation uh, again if you are in largo clear water you need to get to your safe place immediately in case we do end up getting a tornado here we don't have any correlation coefficient drop but i do want to remind you these storms are literally coming off the coast right now so it's very possible that uh, if there is something happening it might be a water spout that's lifting up just fish which do not usually get detected that often by the correlation coefficient um, in addition to that we do have this area of rotation that is not confirmed by any means it is still an area of rotation that could produce a tornado as it continues to move northeast going towards largo and the Rocky Creek area. They may end up issuing a new tornado warning for this one. We'll see. But if they do, it would probably include areas like Rocky Creek near Pine Luz Park. I think that's how you say it. Near uh, Reddington Shores, just north of there. That's the other area of rotation that we're looking at. Once again, these two areas of rotation moving northeast going to be heading towards areas near Tampa, uh, just west of Tampa, and then the other one's heading just south of Spring Hill right now. The one that's near Spring Hill is definitely broader right now. It's not nearly as intense when it comes to rotation. Uh, but once again, going to be moving towards 589 over the next several minutes. This area is still a very broad area of rotation, so at this point, we're going to continue to watch this storm. With that being said... We're going to mostly focus on the one that's down near uh, Tampa that has a more imminent threat of a tornado. I think the other one's going to take maybe a little bit to recycle there over the next few minutes. I'm still waiting for photos on that St. Augustine storm. Once again, there was a confirmed large and strong tornado northwest of St. Augustine about 30 minutes ago. And multiple homes are damaged north of St. Augustine, so we're going to continue to watch for more reports on that over the next several minutes. At the time of that tornado, we were live, and it was a PDS tornado, meaning a pretty rare situation when we get a large and strong tornado on the ground. Oh my goodness. We potentially had a wedge tornado that happened there. I'm not I'm not 100% sure yet. There's a photo, but I'm not sure if it's the exact tornado. But there is a photo on Twitter. If I can verify it, I will retweet it. Uh, but there was potentially a wedge tornado earlier that was actually quite large there northwest of St. Augustine. Cannot confirm it yet, though, because we don't have any other um, photo photographic evidence yet. But if I do see some more confirmation on the photo of it, I will definitely let you guys know. But that may have been a large wedge that we had on the ground earlier. But if I can verify the image, I will obviously let you guys know and I'll, I'll be able to show you guys. But um, cannot verify it yet because it's just one image and sometimes people post fake photos on the internet. You guys might know about that. <laughs> that does happen sometimes. All right, uh, reporting on the storm near Clearwater. Once again, we still have two different areas of rotation. The one near Clearwater is a little bit weaker right now. We still have a broader area of rotation near Largo. So two different pockets of rotation that still could produce a tornado at any time. So again, if you're in this area, make sure that you're staying in your safe place away from windows, lowest floor possible, and in an interior room of your home or building. We have another pocket of rotation developing further north. We may get another tornado warning here at some point. Uh, this one would be on the storm that's near Brooksville. So this right here is another pocket of rotation that has uh, potential to produce a tornado. It is still broad, but it is another spot that we may get a tornado warning on. Uh, that's near Brooksville. And obviously, a lot of these storms are, so far, a couple of these storms have not been tornado worn that we've been talking about. But I do want to reiterate that a lot of these storms that are ongoing right now have rotation. We have a very favorable environment here, at least for a couple of tornadoes today. So 
Um, I'm going to try to at least give you as much leeway and as much notice as possible on any of these storms that are rotating. That is another one that has just been going to develop with rotation uh, really in the last couple of radar scans. So we very easily could get a tornado warning if trends continue on that storm with some stronger rotation. Again, that is near Brooksville right now. The Bushnell area will be in the track of that near Interstate 75 over the next several minutes. Dark, but no tornado in Largo right now. Yeah, it's entirely possible, too, that this is a rain-wrapped area of rotation, and a tornado could te technically still happen in between radar scans, and it also could happen in that rain that you might not be able to see. That's why I always try to reiterate that you never, you know, you should really never go outside or even try to look out the window. All right, I'm getting some video now of that potential tornado earlier, or that tornado. Yeah. Um, yeah, guys, this this that tornado in St. Augustine was likely what we what I just saw on Twitter. So this right here would have been the tornado that happened earlier. That is huge if that is confirmed. I'm not 100% sure on it still, but we, the video that was posted of it a little while ago is very reminiscent of that. So, uh, tornado warning, by the way, has just been canceled if you're back up near uh, Port Ritchie. So this tornado warning no longer, no longer ongoing. The rotation's weakened entirely. More of a damaging wind risk there. Still have some rotation near Brooksville that could get tornado warned. We still got some rotation that is just right now west of Tampa near Largo. Once again, rotation is near Largo right now. It's still an area of rotation that could drop a tornado. So continue to stay in your safe place away from windows and on the lowest floor possible interior room of your home or building. Away from windows. Uh, I'm getting photos of this storm now, guys. But I'm still... Just hold on if you're looking for photos on it. I might be able to show you guys a few in here in a second. That tornado earlier in St. Augustine, or near St. Augustine. Once again, strong area of rotation near Largo. That could drop a tornado at any time. Make sure, again, if you're in this area, that you are seeking shelter immediately away from windows, lowest floor possible. Uh, as of right now, again, nothing confirmed by a radar on this storm. So we still have rotation, but it's not radar confirmed. We don't have any correlation coefficient drop quite yet on this storm, meaning that there is still a chance for a tornado in the next few minutes, but it's not imminently on the ground. So once again, if you are in this area near Largo, Florida, stay in your safe place, away from windows, and on the lowest floor possible interior room of your home or building. All right, can't show those photos quite yet. You know, keep posting if we do have any photos on that tornado from earlier. The only one that we currently have right now is the one I just showed you a few minutes ago. Uh, I will be retweeting photos on our Twitter page at MaxVelocityWX of the tornado that happened near St. Augustine, Florida from earlier. So, again, that was a strong and large tornado that happened north of St. Augustine. That has damaged a lot of areas there. So, um, again, if you know anyone near the International Gulf Par Parkway area, that's where that tornado happened. Once again, if you are just tuning in, we still have an ongoing tornado warning. This is our only tornado warning right now, uh, just west of Tampa Bay, Florida, near Largo and Clearwater. New radar scan should be coming in here in just a moment, but that is our area of rotation that is moving uh, right now into the Bay Park Apartments area and also moving towards Point at Mobley Bay. 
eventually moving towards Rocky Creek and Americana over the next several minutes. So once again, if you are in this tornado warning, you should be seeking shelter away from windows and on the lowest floor possible interior room of your home or building. Again, that rotation will be approaching areas near Safety Harbor, Sunfish, and uh, mo again, moving towards Rocky Creek uh, over the next several minutes, and as well as East Lake. So continue to stay in your safe place, away from windows and lowest floor possible, interior room of your home or building, if you are just west of Tampa, Florida. I'm retweeting more photos of that tornado on Twitter, at MaxVelocityWX. On our Twitter page. But once again, this was the tornado that happened earlier in St. Augustine. That right there, again, your cone-shaped tornado uh, wedge, obviously, here uh, that happened near St. Augustine, near the World Golf Village, the International Golf Parkway. This was from C Curtis Blow. Mosaic Park was hit hard, according to them. But that right there was the, unfortunately, the tornado that happened earlier there in the St. Augustine area of Florida. And once again, we do not know the intensity of that tornado. All we know is that it was strong. It was likely at least an EF2, just from what we know as of right now. So, I mean, it was, again, a PDS tornado that usually means strong and large, or and or large. Um, so, likely at least a strong tornado there that happened. Now, back to what's happening right now. Again, we still have that tornado warning on the back side of this particular storm. Uh, again, do not think that this is the main area of action where the rotation is. It's actually on the back side here of this particular storm, so it's completely wrapped in rain. If you are anywhere near the Rocky Creek area, I would stay very weather aware. You're not in the tornado warning right now, but we may get a new tornado warning on this. We'll see. We'll see if the rotation is strong enough by that point. But this rotation is on the back side here of this particular uh, thunderstorm. So this is all the rain. Then you got backwards hook here. That would be where we are currently watching for the potential for a tornado. And I, once again, that is near Route 19 right now. And it's going to be heading toward the point at Mobley Bay and Rocky Creek over the next several minutes. So make sure to stay in your safe place, away from windows, lowest floor possible and interior room of your home or building away from windows if you are still in this pink polygon i would say if you're in palm harbor just stay in your safe place for the next few minutes just in case but the main area of rotation as of now is down to your south and then further up here to the north we do still have a broad area of rotation that tried to develop near brooksville florida that's not an imminent tornado risk but we will continue to keep a close eye on that and then this area that was initially tornado warned has mainly become a damaging wind risk all the bright red colors there indicate the damaging wind threat that is ongoing there and once again we still got rotation here this is again just to the east of clearwater florida it'll be moving probably across tampa bay here in the next few minutes and once again this is moving to the northeast Looks like the storm that is um, over in East Florida is also beginning to rotate. We got a tornado possible label now uh, on this storm. A large area of rotation. This could also be a very dangerous storm down the road. A very large area of rotation right now near Pearson, Florida. This is west of Palm Coast and west of Daytona Beach. There is a very large and at least strong area of rotation that's developing here. We got a serious inflow in this storm. This could easily get Tornado Ward. Uh, we're in between a lot of radar sites, so it's definitely going to be hard to see the exact rotation from a lot of these angles, but we'll um, try to do our best here. We'll go down to this one and see what we got. Yeah, there you go. That's a very strong area of rotation. Looks very reminiscent of what we just had up to the north not too long ago. And this developed, the, the, the tornado that happened up near St. Augustine also developed over land in a very similar location with its rotation. So definitely be mindful of this. If you're near, near like the Flagler Beach area or a Beverly Beach, west of Daytona Beach near Ormond Beach, I would definitely be watching the storm very, very closely over the next several minutes. The tornado warning has just been canceled if you are near Tampa Bay. So just an update on that, that rotation or that tornado warning has just been canceled. With that being said, we still have some areas of broad rotation. There is a tornado possible label or there was one uh, still not ruling out an isolated tornado risk in these storms. So keep that in mind 
be very alert, be very vigilant if you're in those areas on the West Coast. That is a massive, severe thunderstorm warning, by the way, that is ongoing for many areas, anywhere from the villages back into St. Petersburg and the Bradenton area. Uh, back over here again near Daytona Beach, though, I I'm watching the storm very closely if I'm anywhere near Palm Coast in particular. That is a large area of at least broad rotation right now near Pearson. It's a pretty strong area of velocities as well. And with what we just saw again back up near um, St. Augustine, I wouldn't be shocked if we got something similar to the that with this. It's a very similar sort of case with what we just had a few minutes ago. It's a very similar environment. We're not really far apart from the other storm, so I'm definitely not ruling out we get something with this one as well. By the way, today's live stream is brought to you by Radar Omega. That is the weather app that we're using throughout this live stream. You can download it with the top link in the description below on iOS and Android, and you can stay well ahead of the storms as they continue to develop here across Florida and even the Ohio Valley later today. You get a lot of things like live cameras on the app, cyclone port data, and a lot more. And you can check it out with the top link in the description below on iOS and Android. It's only $8.99 and is the best $8.99 that you'll spend on a weather app. And I appreciate Radar Omega for sponsoring today's live stream. Thank you, uh, Sweet, for becoming a Minimum Velocity member. Thank you, Corey, for the four months as a Minimum Velocity member. Thank you, Delbert, for becoming a Minimum Velocity member. Uh, thank you, Siv, for gifting five members to the channel. I do appreciate that. Thank you for the $10 Super Chat as well. Um, what National Weather Service radio would you recommend under $60? Uh, the one I would recommend is Midland, but really any weather radio works. But the Midland is usually pretty good. Thank you, Will, for the $2 Super Chat. And we have a tornado warning. A new tornado warning has been issued. So once again, this is a dangerous storm that is. A new tornado warning has been issued. This is a dangerous storm that is um, developing. Very similar to what we just had back up in St. Augustine, where we have a very strong area of rotation. And uh, again, I'm not ruling out that this tornado, if, it, if we do end up getting a tornado here, I'm not ruling out that we get something strong again, because that's the environment that we have right now here on the east coast of Florida. We just saw it back up near the, the International Golf Parkway there, near the World Golf Village, near St. Augustine. It's very possible we get something like that again here over west of Daytona Beach and west of Palm Coast. So with this being said, if you are in this tornado warning, you need to seek shelter immediately away from windows and on the lowest floor possible in an interior room of your home or building. This storm also has a chance to produce a tornado. And it, again, it could be on the strong side of things if we get one. It's a very strong area of winds going away from the radar, going towards the radars, at least as of right now, a bit weaker. With that being said, we had a very similar case of that earlier back up near uh, St. Augustine. And it ended up producing a tornado. And look at that thing. That is some very strong rotation right now that is approaching the Selville area, and we may have a tornado here. It's it's not confirmed yet, but we do at least have a little bit of something happening here on radar. That is a very intense area of rotation. Near Bakerstown, Deanville, and New Run in Florida. The storm is moving, by the way, at about 60 miles per hour. It is a storm that is racing right now out to the east, and it very easily could produce a tornado at any time. This does include Volusia County, Florida, and it also includes Flagler and Putnam County, Florida. Bottom of your screen are the warnings that are cycling, and that information's down there as well. Uh, but once again, Seaville, Florida, you need to get to your safe place. If you are in Bunnell or Espanola, you need to get to your safe place. This is, again, unfortunately, I think this very easily could drop a tornado. It is eerily similar to what we just had a few minutes ago near St. Augustine, Florida, where we had a strong and large tornado, and it was a wedge tornado, by the way, that happened back up northwest of St. Augustine. If you know any friends or family that are between here and Palm Coast, Interstate 95, just west of Borman Beach, you need to make sure that they are in their safe place, away from windows and on the lowest floor possible, interior room of your home or building because this again could drop a uh, tornado and if it does it is going to potentially be strong over the next several minutes so once again unfortunately this is not looking good at this point on this particular storm you know any friends or family in this tornado warning we got two different tornado warnings by the way let me zoom out a little bit here we'll we'll go over here 
but that right there is a very strong pocket of winds that are going uh, toward the radar, very strong velocities. And once again, if we do get a tornado, it will more than likely be a, a bit more on the strong side of things here. Just west of Flagler Beach. We also have an, a severe thunderstorm warning here with damaging winds up to 70 miles per hour being possible no matter what at this point. So there's at least a possibility here for some numerous to widespread damaging winds here in Florida. Here's that latest radar scan. And I'm, I can't confirm it yet. We don't really have a definitive view of that correlation coefficient. We're between a lot of radar sites. With that being said, there is a possibility that this could be on the ground at any time. It's not confirmed, at least from this radar site. Once again, we have a beam that's looking really high up into the clouds. It's not really looking like what, what the one we had in uh, St. Augustine. It was looking more near the surface. This one's looking a bit more elevated. So if we do have a tornado, it very easily could happen um, at, at any time. And if it is on the ground right now, we won't probably know for at least a couple of minutes on radar because it is just the correlation coefficient is looking a bit higher up into the atmosphere. And any debris that's being lifted up, we're not going to see at least for a few minutes. I'm going to try to stay at this perspective here just so you have a better view of what's ahead of the storm. Yeah, nothing confirmed yet, but we have a very strong pocket of rotation that could produce a tornado at literally any time. You need to continue to stay in your safe place, away from windows and on the lowest floor possible, interior room of your home or building, away from windows. And I cannot stress this enough. It is a very strong area of rotation right now that is heading towards areas near Flagler Beach, Beverly Beach, and Palm Coast that could produce a tornado at any time. So please continue to stay in your safe place, away from windows, lowest floor possible, if you are included in this tornado warning. Try to see if we have any reports on this right now. Um, yeah, we're getting new. Nope, that's not the right one. Never mind. Just kidding. If you guys do see any reports, by the way, on Twitter that you want to relay to me, feel free to at me on Twitter at Max Velocity WX. Once again, this is an ongoing area of strong rotation northwest of Daytona Beach. This could drop a tornado at any time. This is completely rain-wrapped rotation. And the fact of the matter is, it's very similar to what we had near St. Augustine not too long ago. So with that being said, I would make sure that you are seeking shelter immediately, away from windows, lowest floor possible, and in an interior room of your home or building, as a tornado could end up dropping at any time. This is just north of Pearson. And it is also near Crescent City, Florida. With, once again, a strong area of rotation right now in progress here. Let's see what the correlation coefficient looks like on this one. Oops, did not mean to do that. Yeah, still not seeing anything confirmed as of right now. And as I mentioned before, the problem with this radar site is that we are in between two radar sites that are looking very high up into the clouds. This is another view of it. So there's your winds going away from the radar. That's going toward the radar. Again, we could get a tornado at any time as this storm does continue to move to the east-northeast. It's going to be heading towards Flagler Beach, Palm Coast, Florida, just to the west-northwest of Ormond Beach, and just to the northwest of Daytona Beach. So once again... Stay in your safe place, away from windows, lowest floor possible if you're in this tornado warning. Very strong velocities, very similar to what we just had a few minutes ago. And I'm hoping this, again, does not go to a strong and or large tornado, but it is very possible that we get something like that. Um, all, all right, we do have a new mesoscale discussion. Severe and local tornado risk will continue across areas in central Florida. This does include anywhere from Tampa back into the Daytona Beach area. So once again, we are watching right now for it. We have another tornado warning. A new tornado warning has been issued. We have a uh, tornado warning that's just been issued near Tampa, Florida. 
And this would be why. We have a, a kink that's developing here near Rocky Creek. It is a stronger area of rotation that is about to be imminent for those in Rocky Creek. You need to get to your safe place immediately away from windows, the lowest floor possible, if you are in this tornado warning, as this one could produce a tornado at any time, as it continues to move east, or sorry, not east, uh, northeast, towards areas like Americana, Lido, and Rocky Creek, Florida. It is just west of Tampa. So if you are in the suburb area here, you need to stay in your safe place away from windows and on the lowest floor possible. Interior room of your home or building away from windows. So again, another pocket of rotation that could drop a tornado at any time as it moves into Rocky Creek, Lido, and also near Route 589. We have a closer up radar site as well that is updating way more frequently, but this right here would be what we're talking about. That is the pocket of rotation that we are watching for that'll be moving into Rocky Creek. And this is about to make landfall in like one or two minutes. It's possible that we have a water spout. Even if we don't, it could still drop a tornado as it moves inland. This includes Hillsborough County, Florida. Once again, population of 193,000 apparently in just this tornado warning. Um, and again, if you are in this tornado warning, you need to get to your safe place immediately away from windows, lowest floor possible. That is a basement, a storm shelter, a closet, any of those areas you need to be in right now. Do not wait, run. We've already had a couple of tornadoes. We have already at least had one tornado today. It's very possible that we get another one there as well. Let me um, quickly go back to this storm. Let's see what the warning looks like now. This is still radar indicated rotation. Again, very strong velocities. This could still drop a tornado at any time as it moves towards Palm Coast, Florida. Still no confirmation on this either by visual or by radar. But we are continuing to watch a very strong area of rotation that's going to be approaching Palm Coast, Flagler Beach, and Beverly Beach over the next several minutes. So once again, if you are in this tornado warning, you need to be in your safe place away from windows, the lowest floor possible. It is very reminiscent of what we just had back up near St. Augustine, Florida. Very similar lead time as well on these tornado warnings comparatively to what we had earlier. And this could still drop a tornado as it continues to move toward Palm Coast, Interstate 95, northwest of Daytona Beach, Florida. And let's go back to Tampa, as this is more of an imminent threat right now. Uh, looks like the rotation is going to be located now just north of 60. That is the rotation that's going to be moving into Rocky Creek in the next several minutes. Again, just west of Tampa, Florida. Or we could get a tornado here at any time. And remain in your safe place away from windows, lowest floor possible if you're included in this warning. The tornado warning is still, it's just been updated. It still does include Seaville, but it no longer includes George Lake, Florida, back over in uh, Central Florida. This rotation is still ongoing. It's a pretty weak area of rotation, but if we do have a tornado, it's about to be entering into Rocky Creek. Go back to this radar site. So if we do have a tornado, it's going to, again, be moving right into Rocky Creek right now. So stay in your safe place if you are in Rocky Creek, as a tornado is possible here at any time. As this storm does continue to move northeast, it's going to be moving right into areas that are very populated just west of Tampa, near Leto or Lido, and as well as Andover Village and Americana, and as well as Rocky Creek over the next few minutes. So once again... Stay in your safe place, away from windows, lowest floor possible. This is a very volatile environment that we're in right now that has already produced one large and strong tornado earlier back near St. Augustine. It is very possible that we get something like that again. Unfortunately, the storm that is back up, right, we're going to continue to keep a close eye on that one, but I do want to mention again, this storm has the chance to produce a strong tornado if you are near Palm Coast. Uh, if you're in Palm Coast, you don't have to be in your safe place right now. You're not in the warning, but you need to be very vigilant because this storm has the chance to produce a strong tornado if it ends up developing and intensifying here. We don't have anything confirmed yet, but it is a very similar storm to what happened in St. Augustine not too long ago, where there's been a lot of reports of some significant damage near the International uh, Gulf Parkway. If this storm does intensify, and it produces a tornado, once again, it could be on the stronger side of things with how strong these velocities are. So we need to keep a very close eye on this storm as it moves towards Interstate 95 and Palm Coast. And um, again, very dangerous storm right now heading that direction. Hopefully it doesn't produce anything. It's not tight and confined yet, but it very well could become tight at any time. Correlation coefficient is 
that looks like just a glitch all right so yeah the rotation right now again is moving into areas near bunnel and as well as dupont rotation may be recycling here so it's very possible that this recycles and tries to produce a tornado in like 10 minutes or so sometimes we do get some recycling with these storms with that being said that's your rotation right there it is still a pretty strong area of rotation that's heading towards beverly beach and flagler beach they'll be heading towards palm coast over the next several minutes and then again we still have our tornado warning right now for rocky creek this will go for seven more minutes. Looks like the rotation is weakened. I would still stay in your safe place until that warning is officially lifted. We have another strong area of rotation, though, trying to develop right now near Gray Terrace, I believe. Let's, like, just double check this. Yeah, we got an area of rotation right now approaching Gray Terrace and Drew Park. If you are in Gray Terrace or Drew Park and you're watching the stream, I would recommend staying in your safe place, going there now. Um, there may be a tornado warning for this one as well. But that is another pocket of rotation right now that's moving just into the uh, Tampa suburbs here in West Florida. Again, near Gray Terrace and Drew Park. This is a very populated area, and we have another chance here for a tornado. That is a unwarned area of rotation that has just developed. We'll see if that stays alive here, but it's on the back side of the storm and that back end hook echo that we have. And apparently, Drew Park... And Gray Terrace is near the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers Stadium. So, for perspective, if you are not too familiar with the area. New radar scan on this storm will be coming in in a second. And we are still watching the storm that's back near Tampa. Should have a new radar scan now, and it looks like if we do have that rotation, it's right over Dana Shores. Hard to tell. It's kind of cut out here on this latest radar scan, but that would be a rotation right there. It's going to be on that hook. So this is actually going to be moving into Benjamin Farms and Golden Estates and Drew Park. But once again, stay in your safe place. We don't have a clean view on that radar site. Let's see if we can get a better one here. Yeah, this is a little bit better, but this is a, a minute behind. That would be your rotation right there. So it's moving into Donna Shores near Drew Park, Florida, with a another strong area of rotation that could produce a tornado at any moment. Again, this is moving towards Lido and Drew Park. Areas in the long-term track of this will include Temple Terrace, Del Rio, and a few other locations that we'll continue to keep a close eye on. Quick update on the storm that's going to be approaching Palm Coast. Rotation is a lot broader right now. With that being said, it may just be recycling. So we are going to have to continue to watch the storm very closely as it moves towards Palm Coast. Flagler Beach and Beverly Beach are also going to be in the track of the storm over the next several minutes. So once again, if you are in this tornado warning, I would stay in your safe place. If you're in Palm Coast or just northwest of Ormond Beach, I would keep a very, very close eye on this storm, as it very ma very well may be just recycling right now. We still have very strong winds here regardless, so damaging winds upwards of 70 miles per hour will be possible as this storm does move towards Interstate 95, Palm Coast, and just west of Ormond Beach, Florida. We do have a live cam at the bottom right of your screen that will be there in Plant City, Florida on Virtual Rail Fan. We'll have that up there. A new tornado warning has been issued. All right. Another tornado warning. Alarm has sounded. Uh, again, this is going to be the storm near Tampa, Florida. If you are in this warning... Uh, this is confirmed. This is an urgent alert. A tornado is on the ground. Seek shelter immediately. Uh, again, new con confirmed tornado near Tampa, Florida. Seek shelter immediately if you're in the pink polygon. This is once again a confirmed tornado now near Drew Park, just west of Tampa. Uh, I'm going to try to go to the other radar site here. This has likely been observed, I'm guessing. 
Yeah, weather spotters just confirmed a water spout moving onshore. This is located just offshore of the Tampa International Airport or near Tampa. Again, very populated area moving northeast at 35 miles per hour. Again, this was just confirmed a water spout moving onshore. That was what I was mentioning a few minutes ago, that pocket of rotation. If we still have a tornado on the ground, it's going to be right here near Drew Park. So if you are in Drew Park, Leto, Temple Terrace, you need to get to your safe place immediately away from windows and on the lowest floor possible interior room of your home or building and this is a dangerous storm right now that is in progress we continue to get to your safe place again it, that is an interior room of your home or building away from windows and on the lowest floor possible interior room of your home or building get to a sturdy structure as well if you're in a mobile home you need to get to a sturdy structure you should have done that well ahead of time especially with all the storms in the area if not a ditch is really where you should be going a mobile home is not safe in this particular storm and this is gonna be moving towards riverbend wellswood drew park and again if there's still a tornado on the ground here it's gonna be located near drew park and leto and once again this is a water spout that was moving onshore near drew park near the Tampa Bay International Airport that has been confirmed by weather spotters that may still be producing a tornado right now. This is impacting a lot of various people here in the Tampa area, just west of Tampa. And if you're in the downtown area of Tampa, you're not in this warning, but I would, stay still, I would still stay very vigilant there. As I am not ruling out that this storm does try to produce something, or a storm further south tries to produce something closer by. The rotation, by the way, that's approaching Palm Coast is in a recycling stage still. It is not on the ground, but it is a rotation area that we'll continue to watch very closely over the next several minutes. Tornado warning that included Americana has been canceled. The rotation is no longer there. We are talking about a tornado that is uh, still potentially on the ground right now near Drew Park and Leto. And once again, this is moving to the northeast towards Temple Terrace near Interstate 275. And if you are in this warning, stay in your safe place away from windows and on the lowest floor possible interior room of your home or building away from windows this has once again been a confirmed tornado as of a a few minutes ago here by weather spotters in the area we only have two tornado warnings as of right now the one that we have over near daytona beach uh, west of daytona beach west of palm coast is still ongoing and then we still have that other storm that we're watching right now in tampa this is the one just west of tampa that is actively producing a tornado it may still be on the ground we don't 100 know but um if it is still on the ground it is going to be going through drew park and leto let's uh let's go back to this we're going to go ahead and put on the velocities and i'm not seeing much here if we still have a tornado it would be near leto but it's not super duper definitive if there's a tornado that would be it right there and that's again moving through leto right now going towards temple terrace but this tornado is still on the ground it's gonna be right there near leto approaching interstate 275 over the next several minutes just northwest of tampa florida and this is north central hillsborough county weather spotters confirmed a water spout that was moving on shore and this is near the Tampa Bay International Airport with a confirmed tornado that is moving northeast. So continue to stay in your safe place away from windows and on the lowest floor possible if you're in this warning. Lots of storms happening in Florida. We're going to continue to watch all of them very closely. This is one of many that are rotating right now. We only have two tornado warnings. With that being said, there are definitely more than two storms rotating in Florida. We have a lot of area storms that are rotating. If that tornado is still on the ground, it is now going through Leto, and it's going to be approaching Interstate 275 in about two minutes. Temple Terrace also in the track of this in a few minutes. This is our area of rotation that could still have a tornado on the ground right now. So this will be moving towards Nowadini, maybe? I don't know how to say that, but that, that's another area there north of Tampa and Temple Terrace. So that right there, let's just go and outline it. That is your tornado that's on the ground. Rotation is beginning to strengthen again back over near um, Palm Coast, Florida. 
So that rotation is beginning to again intensify back over near Palm Coast, Florida. We'll continue to keep you posted as that storm continues to develop. We're watching two different storms. This one is actively producing a tornado. And the one near Palm Coast, the rotation is attempting to intensify once again. Luckily, that rotation that's near Palm Coast is moving very fast because it's about to be moving offshore in about 10 minutes. So if we do get a tornado, it's going to be very imminent, basically. It would have to happen in the next 10 minutes. So if you're near Palm Coast, be very vigilant. You may get a tornado warning here soon. And again, if you're just tuning in, this is a confirmed tornado that is on the ground near Leto, west of Temple Terrace. And this has been a confirmed, observed water spout that moved on shore that may still be producing an active tornado. And if it is, it's going to be located just north of Tampa, near Leto. So continue to stay in your safe place, away from windows, lowest floor possible. If we go back to the radar site, that's not nearly as close up. This would be the uh, more regional radar site. We had a little bit better of a view of the rotation, but it would be basically right here. So it's going to be crossing over Interstate 275, like right now. Um, and also crossing into the Temple Terrace area in a couple of minutes, just north of Tampa. I'm going to see if we have any other reports on this right now. Still have a tornado warning for 10 more minutes on this storm. It may still be on the ground. We don't 100% know. We don't have any um, very definitive view on this right now. Let's see the correlation coefficient. Yeah, I'm not seeing any CC drop here. Granted, we haven't really had one on this storm, so it's still possible that we have something on the ground, but we just don't really know. Here's that water spout report as of 12.54 p.m., so 11 minutes ago. That was the confirmed water spout as of 11 minutes ago. This is, um, again, a public reporting a water spout moving on shore, and that was near Drew Park and Leto. And so if this is still on the ground, it'll be moving into areas now near Temple Terrace. If you are in Drew Park or Leto, you do not have to be in your safe place anymore. This storm is now past you. If you are near Temple Terrace or Noatony, still stay in your safe place, as that is where the tornado would be located right now. And it would likely be located in this hook that we have. So the tornado, if it's still on the ground, is right there. I'm still watching the storm very, very, very closely. That's back over on the East Coast. It does look like, though, this rotation has weakened substantially. I don't think this is on the ground anymore, but we're going to continue to have it on there just in case. Just in case we do still have something. We'll keep it on here. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'll be keeping you posted with the latest throughout the afternoon here with the tornado threat in Florida and um, as well as the Ohio Valley. I was not expecting to go this li or live this early today, but we had that PDS tornado and this severe weather threat just seemingly is more significant than I think a lot of people expected, including me. I didn't expect Florida to have this much activity. All right, both tornado warnings were just canceled, so we do not have any tornado warnings anymore. So those were both just canceled, which is good news. With that being said, I do want to bring your attention back to two different areas. We have one that we're looking at right now that's over here um, that is currently in West Florida, this large, severe thunderstorm warning. This entire area right now near the villages back through Tampa and St. Petersburg, this is producing the threat of damaging winds across this entire area upwards of 60 miles per hour. In addition to that, there is a tornado possible label. What does that mean? Well, it basically means that we at least have some pockets of rotation embedded in this elongated cluster of storms. So we still do have at least an isolated chance here for a tornado or two over the next hour. So we're going to have to continue to watch every one of these storms. We've had lots of activity on already we had a confirmed tornado earlier again north of st augustine it was a large and strong tornado that happened we will continue to watch trends very closely here's that confirmed tornado by the way this is a very long tornado report let's read this real quick visual confirmation of a tornado in world golf village in the trail mark subdivision via social media and media excellent radar indication of a tornado national weather survey team is already in route by the way to storm survey to determine the path 
intensity and length and width of this tornado. From the photos we've seen, this was a wedge tornado. So uh, very, very, very likely at this point that we are going to have something that's on the strong side of things, whether that was an EF2 tornado or whatever it might have been. It was a strong tornado. It caused a lot of damage to roofing. Some windows were destroyed. A lot of other stuff as well. Um, I've already seen some debris on Twitter. If you're not following our Twitter page, make sure to follow us at MaxVelocityWX. Uh, we have some photos up on there as well. Um, in addition to that, uh, this tornado was on the ground for probably about 10 to 15 minutes, and we had a pretty large debris fallout from it. So uh, it still remains a possibility here that we did have a uh, strong tornado at the bare minimum here in East Florida near St. Augustine. It did not go through downtown St. Augustine. Again, that was World Park Village. With all this being said, we do have a new Tornado Watch extension. So the Tornado Watch has now been added to Orlando and Four Corners. So once again, brand new Tornado Watch for those in Orlando, Four Corners, and west of Palm Bay and Cape Canaveral. So if you are in Orlando, Deltona, Four Corners, Lakeland, again, brand new Tornado Watch extension. This Tornado Watch only goes until 3 o'clock Eastern Time. We will see if they do issue a new one down the road. I do think, though, the majority of the tornado risk here in Florida is going to be between now and 3 o'clock. I got photos sent. Okay, where'd you send them? Okay, I got, I got photos from the storm from earlier. Give me one second, guys. We got the some photos from the tornado from earlier. Yeah, we got we got lots of photos of this tornado from earlier. Um, here are just some of those photos. Just give me one moment here. So again, there was a confirmed tornado near St. Augustine, Florida. I'll show you the various photos here. This is from the St. Johns County Fire Rescue. So some of the photos from that tornado that happened earlier. This is one of them. Got damage to fencing. And it's not even flying fences Friday, by the way. We're on um, tossing trampolines on tall trees Thursday. But we got flying fences. A lot of wood on the ground. Luckily, it doesn't look like a whole lot of structural damage here. But look at this. I mean, this is just all sorts of damage. Looks like some things really got flung around, especially with that right there. That's all, again, fencing that has been destroyed here. Very heavily damaged, at least, here in the... Uh, World Golf Village area of Florida. Can't tell if that is a net to a trampoline or something else. I don't know, I don't know what that is, but we have a lot of damage at least. Look at all the shingles off the roof, by the way. That, that's all tornado damage right there. Got tons of stuff all over the place. Lawn furniture got flung everywhere. So we got literally everything all over the place. A lot of like loose line items. It, this kind of re reminds me... Whoa, look at this. This this reminds me of at least at least like an EF1 sort of tornado, EF2 potentially. But yeah, we will not know until they do a, a complete survey. But more damage here. Again, out of the St. John's County area. This is again near the World Park Village. Tossing trampoline, or not tossing trampoline. Tossing uh, playground sets it looks like here on tossing trampolines on Tall Trees Thursday. Got, um... Again, a lot of various damage. It looks like a lot of damage, though, that can be fixed. It's not like a home that's been flattened or anything like that. Here's another one. And all this near St. Augustine, Florida, near World Golf Village. Lots of fencing damage, though, from the looks of it. So, once again, that was from the St. John's County Fire Rescue Team. And uh, all the first responders, obviously, in route for that. And once again, the National Weather Service is right now in route for a storm survey. So we should have some results on the tornado itself in a little bit. So we'll continue to keep you posted. Do have some broad rotation north of San Antonio, north of Dade City here in West Central Florida. This will be moving towards Orlando. So we'll keep a close eye on that rotation. And then back over here near 
Palm Coast. We have a very large, broad area of rotation near the Beverly Beach area and Flagler Beach. The good news is there is not enough time for this to produce a tornado inland. The rotation is about to be moving offshore. It's a very fast-moving storm. Just not enough time for this to produce a tornado. With that being said, if you know any fish or sharks or anything like that out in the ocean here in the Atlantic Ocean, give them a call or text and make sure they're doing all right because there might be a large water spout potential out here in um, the eastern side here of Florida going towards areas right into the Atlantic Ocean. With that being said, we do not have any severe thunderstorm warning on that particular storm. The only severe thunderstorm warning that is active is this large one in West Florida that still has the chance of a tornado. With that being said, we do have some pretty strong rotation here, but it's going to be moving offshore. So no imminent concern here for Florida. But we will continue to keep a very close eye on all this activity here as it does continue to evolve. And once again, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. In addition to that, today's live stream is brought to you by Radar Omega. It is the weather app that you can get on your iOS and Android device with the top link in the description below. It is the weather app that we've been using throughout this entire live stream, has tons of features like live radar, you can also look at the velocities. You can even track out storms with this tracking tool here on uh, Radar Omega. You just put in a wind or a speed of the storms, and that will eventually give you a track of the storm and as well as when it could arrive to your location. In addition to that, they have a bunch of live cams. They also have computer model data, satellite imagery, and a lot more. Again, you can download Radar Omega on your iOS and Android device with the top link in the description below. And I do appreciate Radar Omega for sponsoring today's live stream. All right, I missed a lot of super chats and stuff. Let me get to a few of these. I do apologize. We've had a very active first hour and a half of this live stream. And again, a lot of this was definitely not anticipated, at least from the significant tornado that we had was not anticipated. But um, otherwise, yeah, there's there's been a lot of stuff here. All right. Um, thank you to Will for the $2 super chat. I did not finish your question from earlier. Uh, Columbus, Ohio, anywhere in Ohio, the strong tornado risk is not really... Uh, there today again it's it's a very low chance so today's tornado risk is actually a 10 percent in ohio and so i am planning on being live for this we'll probably continue this live stream through this event i think as long as the timing works out uh, but this will be for eastern ohio southwest pennsylvania and west virginia this is a 10 percent tornado risk no tor strong tornado threat right now at least a hatched area is not introduced for this area but um, there may be an isolated strong tornado with just a very low risk overall that's basically where we're at it's not like something where we'll have multiple of them or anything like that so it's a, it's a very low risk the main concern though will be a few tornadoes across much of the east coast including the mid-atlantic region and as well as much of the ohio valley uh thank you michael for the five dollar super chat any major threat possible near st leo university near san antonio florida uh yeah san antonio florida i think is getting storms now but i don't think there's an imminent concern here for like significant damage I would say, though, that at the bare minimum, there will be damaging winds. Where did San Antonio go on here? Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I saw San Antonio and I lost it. Let me find it real quick. Or San Antonio. There we go. Uh, that's near Dade City. So overall, the storms are moving through you right now. I'm not expecting any major threat other than just some isolated damaging winds. And actually, with that being said, we do not have any severe thunderstorm warnings anymore. So we are actually with none right now. This entire area, the uh, warning has just expired, I believe, or it was canceled, one of the two. Either way, we may get a new warning. We'll see. We'll have to wait a minute or two here. But yeah, thank you, Waco, for the $5 Super Chat. Will Waco, Texas see severe weather next week? The one day I would be watching would be Monday, but I think Waco's too far south for that. If not, maybe Thursday or Wednesday or Thursday, one of the two. Thank you, Waco, as well, again, for the $5 Super Chat. Lakeland, Florida. I've heard of it. I don't know where it is. Oh, that's north. That's up, like, here somewhere. Uh, Lakeland is up near Interstate 10, Interstate 75. So, no, you're not looking at any severe weather up there. The severe weather threat is done for that, that area. Thank you, Jared, for the generous $10 Super Chat. I'm in Arizona. My uncle lives in Tampa. Any idea if the mini circulations will impact them? Uh, most of the circulations, and again, this message was sent a while ago, so um, do apologize I didn't get to this sooner, but the only circulation that I see on, on radar right now is the one here that is just east of St. Petersburg that'll be moving towards Riverview. So we'll see if this develops in anything potentially down the road, but as of now, nothing really for that particular area. And we do have a new severe thunderstorm warning now issued uh, for those near Bradenton, Longboat Key, Lakeland. Oh, that's Lakeland. Sorry. I was thinking of something else. I, th I think I was thinking of Lake City. Lakeland 
you still have a low chance. I do apologize. I should have looked up Lakeland. Uh, I was thinking about Lake City. So Lakeland in particular, uh, there is still a chance for some isolated damaging winds, maybe a brief tornado. So, sorry. That's Lakeland. That's back over here in your Interstate 4. I was thinking about a completely different area. Thank you, Jay Bug, for the $10 super chat. Uh, thanks for keeping people informed live. I people are a family in Pinellas County, Florida. I, I'm glad I can help. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope they stay safe. Thank you, Sid, for the $5 super chat. Um, I'll bring it in a second. I do want to bring up that we do have a, a pocket of rotation developing right now near Adamsville. So watch this if you're in Adamsville and Riverview, a strong area, or not really strong, but kind of like a moderate sort of rotation right now developing uh, just west there of Adamsville. We also got another little one down here. So two different areas of rotation south of Tampa. Thank you, Sid, for the $5 super chat. I'm looking at radar. The storms heading towards Ohio seem tame. Yeah, right now they are, but they are supposed to intensify with a rapidly recovering atmosphere later today across areas in Ohio. So um, I'll quickly check up on that. Yeah, storms are supposed to fire off like this this afternoon, like closer to five to six. We'll see if we get anything there. I, my thinking is if the threat doesn't really develop until like closer to like five or six, we might just split the stream into two parts. So we'll be live here for the Florida threat, and then we'll go live again later for the Ohio threat. We'll kind of see what happens there because it's not really supposed to start until like four ish at least. So we'll see. I still have an exam tomorrow, so I still have to study for that, which I've been studying a lot already, but I have to continue to do that. Thank you, a uh, thousand miles away for the $10 Canadian Super Chat. I appreciate that. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoy the channel. Thank you, Siv, for the $5 Super Chat. Yes, I did. Did I not? I, I responded to it. Uh, the weather radio, if you didn't hear me, would be, I recommend like a Midland radio. Um, I can pin a couple of different radios in the, the, the stream, so just give me one second to do that. And... There'll be direct links to a couple of the ones that are under $60 that I would recommend. Thank you, Joe, for the $5 super chat. And also thank you, uh, Nicholas, for the $2 Venmo. Uh, and also thank you for the $5 Venmo the, Venmo the other day. I missed that one again. Um... South Central Kansas for Monday. I will have a video on Monday tomorrow. So just wait for the video. Uh, I'm not going to go really into too much detail because it's just too early to really get too, too specific on that event. Even though a significant severe weather event does appear likely, it's a little bit difficult to get into specifics on that. Because we are still several days out. Uh, let me just real quick just zoom out and I'll show you the severe weather risk in case you have not already seen it um day five i believe it is now yeah it's day five so going into there you go so this is going into monday of next week we are likely going to have a significant severe weather outbreak there's already an enhanced risk for severe weather from south kansas back into texas all modes of severe weather will be possible this includes damaging winds large to very large hail and the threat of a uh, a few tornadoes even so definitely a significant severe weather threat here as we go into uh, Monday. With all that being said, specific details are still very unknown. There is still a chance some things could change here, but we will continue to keep you posted with the latest as any sort of new information here comes out about Monday. Uh, I will have a full detail forecast on this tomorrow with much more details on like the dynamics of the storm, uh, essentially where we could end up seeing tornadoes and all that. I'll have more detail forecast tomorrow. Um, I would do one today, but I want to more focus on what's happening today and then we'll get to tomorrow tomorrow. Because today is still a, a bit more of a significant day since we do have a, an enhanced risk that's driven by tornadoes. Shout out the Discord. Yeah, if you guys want to join our Discord server, again, link's in the description below. If you're not already in our Discord server, uh, I will post the link in the main chat as well. Thank you, uh, Siv, for the $10 super chat. Alrighty. Hope everybody's having a good day, by the way. Never really got to talk to you guys at all because it's been so busy. But I do hope everybody's having a good afternoon. Aside from the tornado threat that we've already had and still does exist. Hope everybody's doing all right today. Is that, is there any way that you could resend that on Twitter? With it not being slanted or crooked like that? If you can, let me know. I'll, I'll show the video. 
We have a video of a, a, a lowering near Hillsborough Avenue. I'll retweet the video, but I just feel like it would get pe people dizzy. <laughs> but we had a, a water spout earlier near Tampa, Florida, um, specifically near Drew Park. So we have video at least of a lowering there. So we'll see if we can get that here in a minute. Thank you, Zach. Will I go over the day six as well? Yeah, I'll be going over the day six outlook too. Yeah, we also have a slight risk on t Tuesday, which is tossing trampolines on tacos Tuesday. That includes areas from the Midwest back into the Southern Plains. My hope is that threat I can actually go live for because that is like literally kind of the worst timing possible. Because I have another exam, guess what, on Tuesday. So hopefully it happens either before or after that. But we will have to uh, wait and see. It's the busiest time of the year. And we still have some broad rotation right now approaching Adamsville. Um, not an imminent tornado risk, I don't think, but we'll continue to keep a close eye on this storm. Yeah, it looks like that severe weather risk should be happening around the late afternoon and evening, so we should be able to go live on Tuesday. So we'll probably have a live stream again on Monday and Tuesday for the severe weather risk next week. Uh, we have another video, I believe. Just give me one second of the tornado from earlier in the St. Augustine area. This is from... We have a, we have a video of the actual tornado. This is Lindsay Chilton on Facebook. That right there would be your tornado that happened earlier. Again, pretty large by the looks of it. I'm surprised there wasn't more damage from the photos that I've already seen, but that, that was your tornado. Large and, again, a, a potentially strong tornado. It's all behind the homes there, but that, that would be your, your tornado. It's unbelievable. That's about all it shows, though. That, that would be your tornado there. And once again, that happened near St. Augustine, Florida. Uh, once again, if you do have any friends or family up here near St. Augustine, just give them a call or text. Make sure that they're doing all right. Uh, the tornado that happened itself happened right up here near the International Golf Parkway near World Golf Village. I believe Bucky's is near here. I don't know if Bucky's is here or it's here. Does anybody know? Is it is it back up near World Golf Village? I cannot remember. Um... Or I could actually, I could probably zoom in here. I don't remember. Yeah, that, that's Bucky's. So this tornado actually happened near Bucky's. Uh, that is Bucky's. I believe that's a Sam's Club or Costco, something like that. Um, so this tornado actually may have impacted Bucky's. I don't 100% know though. I don't know 100% know if Bucky's actually was hit directly by that, but uh, they were literally in that tornado path. So that is kind of crazy to think about. Thank you, Heather, for the $5 Super Chat. I appreciate that. Thank you. From Palm Coast and Daytona Beach. Hope everything's going well there. Thanks for the $5 Super Chat. Thank you, uh, Sid, for the $5 Super Chat. I have no clue. <laughs> I have no clue at all. I, I, it might, but I, I couldn't tell you. I, I really don't know about that one. That would be something that would just not be something I would know of at all. If I knew, I would tell you, but I, would, I literally have no clue on that one. Once again, we do have a couple of very broad areas of rotation. Uh, one down near Gulf City and one near Adamsville, Florida. Again, an isolated tornado risk still does exist with these storms. A uh, large water spout may be in progress just east of Flagler Beach, Florida. That's not going to impact the land, but if you know any fish out there, make sure that they're doing all right. Give them a call or text. Share this with the fish. Thank you, Michael, for the $5 Super Chat. Tweeted another video of the St. Augustine Tornado there was brisket on the board what all right let me uh, check out that wow yeah i'm retweeting a video of the tornado that happened in saint augustine on our twitter page but yeah, that's that's pretty crazy
The San Augustine tornado was huge. That's all I got to say. It was a, a huge tornado. Uh, it did go through St. Augustine, but it, it was in the surrounding areas there. Just unbelievable. There's the latest radar scan. Rotation. If there is any sort of tornado threat, it would be near Adamsville right now, and it's a pretty weak area of rotation, but I would still stay vigilant in these areas just in case we get any of these storms to spin up here on shore near Tampa, Florida. Oh, fresh brisket on the board. Yeah, that's at Bucky's. Never mind. Yeah, I, I get it. Thank you. Good, good old Bucky's. They have all sorts of weird things there. Hey, you, uh, Siv, for the $5 super chat. Yeah, storms are not going to really start probably until like 3 30, 4 o'clock. Um, it is entirely possible that we separate this into two different live streams. So we do one right now and then one for Ohio in a little bit. But we'll see. Thank you, Adam, for the $4.99. I'm not excited for severe weather at all. I. Severe weather sucks. <laughs> it really does. Like, like, there's nothing exciting about tornadoes unless you're a storm chaser. Or if it's just in an open field and you get a photo of it. Damaging winds and all that sort of stuff does cause, cause damage and such. Hopefully we don't get anything significant next week, but right now it's trending that direction, unfortunately, for those in... Um, Primarily back over in the central and southern plains and also back into the Midwest and even parts of the Mississippi Valley. Yeah, this hurricane season is going to be very active and I think a lot of you guys probably already know that, but uh, this severe weather season, or sorry, the, the hurricane season, I mean, is going to be... Um, it's going to be very active. We have very warm ocean temperatures already, and from here on out, it's just going to continue to get even more active as we continue to go throughout the rest of the uh, spring and even into the summer. And we might even get an we could get a hurricane as early as like the end of April. It's it's possible. Um, I don't think we will, but it is possible technically because the, the water temperatures are already in the 80s in the Gulf of Mexico. It's it's abnormally warm right now. You know, look up this Bucky's. You guys never heard of Bucky's before? Who's actually heard of Bucky's and who hasn't? I feel like everybody has, but maybe not. I was at a Bucky's back on uh, uh, probably a few days ago. I don't, I don't remember what day it was, but I was in a Bucky's parking lot and it took me 40 minutes to get out. And that's not an exaggeration. It was literally, it was literally gridlock to get out of the Bucky's parking lot. So it was pretty impressive. So if you ever go to Bucky's, be mindful that you could get into a gridlock. <laughs> it's literally what happened to me. I was in a gridlock for legitimately the longest time. And I'm not exaggerating. That was literally the exact time. It was it was a long time. 40 minutes. Barely moved. I mean, it moved like 800 feet in like 30 minutes. It was painful. Could not get out of the parking lot whatsoever. They do have very clean bathrooms. There's always a janitor in those bathrooms. They're always they're always in there. Yeah, for those that haven't heard of Bucky's, it's legitimately just a huge gas station. They are expanding rapidly in the United States. There's a ton of them now. But they, they have a ton of various gas stations going in right now across the country. By the way, for those that are um been here for a while, we now officially have access to virtual rail fan cameras across the United States. And so because of all the support here from all of our channel members and also our fantastic sponsorship with Radar Omega. We now have more access to even more cameras here in the United States, and we are going to continue to use these in our live streams during severe weather events. They, they are all over the country, and this will at least help us to get a gauge of what storms are happening in certain areas. We'll at least have some sort of view on storms at all times. Um, with that being said, here in the near future, 
when we have our dual camera setup going, so the right side of your screen would have two cameras there, which they'll load in here. But uh, like later today, we'll have access here to two different cameras, one in Deschler, Ohio, and one in Altoona, Pennsylvania. So we're going to have multiple live cams here um, for our live streams in the near future. Very excited to work here with uh, Virtual Railfan. And again, this would not be possible without all of our channel members. So I do appreciate all of our members here on our channel. And thank you to all of those that have become members recently. We just crossed 300 members. If you want to become a member of the channel, there is a link in the description below for that. And you can also click the join button down below. Really fantastic stuff, though. We'll have a lot more live cam views. Uh, might change the Altoona, Pennsylvania one because it's just looking at trains. But uh, the one that's over in Dashler, Ohio would be what we're gearing for for most of these, um, most of these live streams. So, yeah, we'll have a lot more access to uh, various cameras here across the United States, which I'm very excited about. Should help overall with a lot of stuff. Supposed to get one here in Ohio? Oh, really? Can you, inform, can you inform us through hurricane season? I mean, I do severe weather coverage and hurricane coverage and all that, so. We'll obviously be keeping you posted with the latest on that. Tech, shoot me an email. Just shoot me an email about that. Thank you, Siv, for the $5 super chat. You've been watching those train cameras for a while, and they are very useful. Yeah, they are. And um, a lot of them are in very useful spots. And they're all over the country, so we'll always have something. So it'll definitely help, for sure. Thank you, Meta, for becoming a minimum Velocity member. I appreciate that. Welcome to the Velocities. Thank you for becoming a member. Yeah, but as of right now, mostly storms right now, mostly damaging wind storms. We'll stay live at least for a little bit longer, see if any of this does produce a tornado threat. Um, as I mentioned before, we are going to be splitting up the live stream into two parts. This will be the first one for Florida, and then we'll also be going live again later for the Ohio tornado threat. And West Virginia and Kentucky as there will be a chance for a few tornadoes. And again, if you've not already heard, there is a 10% tornado risk up here. So this does include Ohio, West Virginia, Southwest Pennsylvania, and Northeast Kentucky. So be very mindful, have tornado action plan in place, and have multiple ways to receive alerts. There is going to be a chance today for a few tornadoes in this area, and uh, we'll be going live again later for that. I would continue to keep the string going, but I mean, I have to study a little bit, so I probably split up a little bit. But uh, we'll probably go live for that event around 3.30, is my guess, maybe 4. We'll kind of mo we'll just monitor trends, and then if there's a tornado warning or something imminent, then we'll go live for that. But we we'll live at least here for about ten more minutes or so. We'll see if anything does develop out of the storm activity, just in case. And um, if nothing does, then we'll we'll obviously go live again later. Thank you, Siv, for the one gifted member. Appreciate that. Thank you. If you got the gifted membership, make sure to thank Siv in the chat. Uh, my email is in the very bottom of the description. Are there rail cams in the Texas Panhandle? I don't hundred percent know. I there might be. They have a ton, like there's an entire list. So I'm guessing they might, but we'll see. What does joining the channel do? Um, it basically supports our page, helps us to be able to upgrade a bunch of our stuff. Um, in addition to that, you do get some benefits. You get a chat badge in the chat. You also get um, exclusive access to like bloopers and stuff like that. Like just a bunch of different benefits. If you click the join button down below, it'll show you the benefits that come with it. And it also supports our page quite a bit. Hey, Milo for the 199. Awesome content. Risk for Northeast Ohio. Uh, the main concern with any of those storms today is actually going to be primarily a tornado risk, even though it's, I would still say, a low tornado risk. It definitely still exists. Uh, a few tornadoes will be possible. So make sure that you have multiple ways to receive alerts and have a tornado action plan in place if you are in those areas. Thank you, Zero, as well, for gifting 10 members to the channel. I do appreciate that. Thank you, Zero. Appreciate the 10 gifted memberships. If you got a gifted member from Zero, make sure to thank him in the chat. No problem, JD. How's it going, FL? Welcome back. Just fix some lunch. Nice.
By the way, if you do have any questions about today's event, let me know in the chat. Again, if you have any questions for Monday or Tuesday, I would save them for now because I'm not going to really talk much about it until um, until our forecast tomorrow. Because tomorrow will probably be a pretty significant, or not tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow will be our day. We'll, we'll talk about that because uh, the significant severe weather event, it still has a lot of unknown details. There could still be some things that change. Uh, but with that being said, the Great Plains and also the Midwest have a pretty favorable environment overall for... Um, for tornadoes, damaging winds, and large hail. So, all more details then once we get a little bit closer. Welcome back, Fabian. Tornado watch will be issued almost 100% if you're in Ohio. Um, that tornado watch will probably be issued around three or four, is my guess. So once again, we'll go live um, for that a little bit later. We'll just go live whenever there's a tornado warning or something that looks bad. We'll, we'll go live then. And uh, we'll have updates with you as those storms do evolve. Ontario, uh, tornado threat is very low there, but you definitely do, still have a low chance, at least for some severe weather back up there in Ohio. Is Connor chasing today? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure he is exhausted. I don't think he's chasing. I don't think there's a whole lot of people that are chasing today, to be honest. I think I think the amount of storm chasers out there today are going to be relatively low. Um, mainly due to the fact most people did chase the severe weather in the lower Mississippi Valley, and that was like a a full like 24 hour threat so i'm guessing that most people did not go chasing for this unless you like live in ohio or something like that brandon is chasing he said he was going to but he's not anymore he canceled the live stream i saw it Saw him say that on Twitter earlier. So I don't think there's really, at least from what, like the people that I know, I don't think there's any like known storm chasers that I know that are chasing today. I, I could be wrong. But I mean, most of them chase the lower Mississippi Valley and driving from there to go up to Ohio after almost no sleep one night is very difficult. A very difficult thing to do. So yeah, I, I, I would never, I would never do that. I would never chase like one day or though like I, I wouldn't like if i were to storm chase if i went from the lower mississippi valley to ohio in like 24 hours after being awake for almost 24 hours i just don't think that'd be possible unless you have an auto driving car or something like that like there's just no way or you get an airplane ticket and you get a rental it's like the only two potential ways to do that is reed timmer chasing today does anybody know i haven't heard if he is I don't think he is. I think he's not, but I could be wrong. But yeah, I've really seen nobody that said they're chasing it. No? Yeah, I, I, I didn't think he was. All right, I do want to quickly go through the timing for today in the Ohio Valley for severe weather. Um, again, we'll be doing another live stream in probably a couple hours for the tornado risk in the Ohio Valley. Um, and once again, the timing is going to look a little bit like this. We'll go to the 12Z model run. So here's the timing for today. Uh, this is right about now, so 2 o'clock. And again, this is all on the Radar Omega app, which you can download with the top link in the description below. You can get one of this with the subscription tiers on their app with all the computer model data. And can you can uh, time out storms. But this is what it looks like around 2. So again, a lot of crap convection around here. This is going to basically lead to, uh, at least for the time being, a lot more of a stabilized environment. But once we get closer to 3 to 4 o'clock, these storms will start to ramp up, especially in here between eastern Kentucky back into southeast Ohio around 4. The main concern here is going to be the potential for an isolated tornado or two, and by 5 to 6 o'clock, more storms will continue to develop, and this is the area in particular that is going to have that greatest tornado risk, probably right around dinner time tonight. So uh, make sure that you have multiple ways to receive alerts. Any of these storms will have the capability of producing an isolated tornado or two. And by 7 and 8 o'clock, storms continue to move into western Pennsylvania, and then severe weather will become a much lesser threat as we get closer to 9 to 10 o'clock tonight. So... Uh, overall, main tornado risk, once again, will be between about 4 and 8 o'clock. We will probably go live around 4. 
for um, in-depth coverage on this particular event. So once again, just make sure that you are subscribed to the channel down below, and we will keep you posted with the latest on this particular severe weather event. And uh, it's going to be another, again, very active afternoon and evening across areas in the Ohio Valley. But the tornado risk, I do think, it's a bit of a hit or miss, I think, today. It either will be a few tornadoes or very little tornado activity. It's going to depend a lot, though, on this convection, and it's been very, very messy already. And with that being said, with all the rain that we have out there right now, this could definitely hinder um, the atmosphere really recovering quick enough. But we'll have to wait and see. You never know. This sort of environment, it doesn't take a whole lot for there to be tornadoes, but we'll, again, have to wait and see on that. But if you're back up in, like, northwest Ohio, the risk is a bit lower. This is the severe weather outlook for today. So that enhanced risk is primarily going to be across areas in eastern Ohio, West Virginia, southwest Pennsylvania, and northeast Kentucky. Slight risk for much of Pennsylvania and Ohio, and as well as uh, West Virginia. I, I honestly think that, you know, just being me here, like, if I was to forecast, you know, a, a risk of tornadoes, I honestly would probably just say a 5% would do it for this area and not a 10%. But localized higher tornado risk will exist in here. But it, I just think a 5% is a little bit more appropriate for today. But I'll have to wait and see what happens today. Um, again, either it's going to be a, a pretty active day if, if we get a really rapidly recovering environment. Or it's going to be a, a bit more of a quiet sort of tornado risk where we only have a couple of storms that end up producing a tornado risk. So we'll have to wait and see. With all that being said, we do have a cyclone port on Radar Omega here in Ohio. This is actually a pretty cool view um, north of Dayton. This is a live cam view on the Radar Omega Cyclone ports, which you can look at all of these inside the Radar Omega app with the top link in the description below on iOS and Android. For only $8.99, you get access to stuff like this, which is going to show you some live cams here across the United States. Lots of cumulus clouds, not seeing a whole lot of rain here, but low clouds. And that's another reason why there's a bit more of an elevated tornado risk today is because of how low the clouds are going to be to the ground. That can help to easily produce a few tornadoes with the proper environment. So if we get that, we'll probably have at least a few tornadoes here later today. But pretty cool view there. It's 65 degrees there near Dayton, Ohio right now. And with that being said, we'll continue to watch the weather very closely. Uh, let's just quickly check back up on Florida. We do actually have a new severe thunderstorm warning. Let's just check up on this, see if there's anything too concerning here. And we'll go from there. We have a new severe thunderstorm warning near Daytona Beach. This is near Ormond Beach. Got actually some rotation developing here. Uh, just to the northwest of Daytona Beach. This is a tornado possible storm. Got actually two pockets of rotation. You got one back up. Actually, not really. There's like maybe a little bit right there, but the rotation mainly is going to be near Pearson. So this will be approaching areas um, near Ormond Beach over the next few minutes. Going towards Flagler Beach. Again, it's a relatively short window here for there to be a tornado. It's going to be really a, like, a, the next 15 to 20 minutes, really, because these storms are moving so fast. Uh, this storm right now, let's check it out. This one's moving east at 60 miles per hour. So if there is a tornado risk here, it's going to be within reason here. It's going to be relatively soon if we get a tornado. So um, obviously make sure that you're staying in your safe place if you're in this area. Away from windows, lowest floor possible, and um, we'll continue to watch that storm very closely. If we have to do an emergency live stream on this, we will, but it's a very short window for there to be a tornado risk there. The storm overall is not super organized. Um, further down to the south, we do still have some storms down here. Overall, most of them, though, not really rotating, but we will continue to keep a close eye on all the storms this afternoon. Uh, once again, we'll be going live again probably in about a couple hours for the Ohio Valley tornado risk. This gives me at least some time to study because I have an exam tomorrow. Uh, with all that being said, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Like the stream if you found it informative. And thank you again for Radar Omega for sponsoring today's live stream. And uh, we'll be live again in a couple hours. So, again, subscribe. Click the bell icon down below. And we'll go live if needed. If there's not really a whole lot happening, we won't go live. But if there are at least some, if there's at least some activity happening in the Ohio Valley, we'll go live. All right, stay safe, guys. Have a good rest of your afternoon. We'll see you guys probably in a couple hours. Again, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and we'll be going live again for that tornado risk in a couple of hours, as long as it does materialize. Uh, thank you also for all the new members, and also thank you to anybody that super chatted. And if you subscribe to the channel or like the stream, I also appreciate you guys a lot. Uh, also, down below, I'm gonna uh, are in the comments section. I am um, going to link our social media pages. It's in the live chat. 
you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all those pages. We have a lot of photos of like the tornadoes from earlier on our Twitter page. And then on Facebook, we will be posting some stuff as well in there with various damage. All right. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you guys all again again in a couple hours. If there's nothing in a couple hours, we will not be going live. But if there is some activity, we'll be going live then. All right. We'll see you guys all again soon.